remember the movie Enchanted? Oh, you don't? Yeah, this movie right here. Let me tell you why this movie is super underrated. This movie actually did really well in the box office and won three Saturn Awards. So yeah, people were a little sad when they couldn't get their Giselle dolls at Disney World. Now Disney chose not to merchandise this movie whatsoever at all. And I read some articles about how this is because they believed that Giselle wouldn't sell as well as other princesses, which I just went over how successful the movie was, so obviously that's false information. So I kept digging, right? The reason our girl doesn't get to get merchandised by Disney is because Disney would have to pay Amy Adams to use her for merchandising and any character lookalikes. So basically they didn't want to pay her, so this movie gets forgotten sometimes. Guys, I realized that science actually just proved that the Bible was real without even knowing it. <laughs> so as you guys know, scientists just proved that every race has Neanderthal blood except for black people because they are the original pure humans. So as you guys know, the Big Bang Theory is already out the window. That is way too far-fetched. Now let me tell you where Neanderthals came from. Neanderthals came from Nephilims. Nephilims came from giants. Giants came from the fallen angels. The Bible speaks about how the fallen angels were supposed to be protecting the humans, but instead the fallen angels came down here and decided to have sexual activities with the humans. The fallen angels soon began to have kids with the humans, creating giants. The giants soon had kids, which created Nephilims. Nephilims had kids, which created Neanderthals. Neanderthals skin couldn't expose to the sun, so they had to move to a colder climate. Their skin became lighter and created the white race. People often ask me how I can be a Christian mother and support the LGBTQ plus community. Two reasons. Number one, it's my calling from God. Number two, it's because I read my Bible. And so today, we are going to talk about the clobber passages used against the gay community by Christians. The number one on our list is Genesis 19, Sodom and Gomorrah. So everybody wants to talk about that there was going to be a gang rape of men and that's what the problem was okay so let's just switch men to women if there was going to be a gang rape of women and god did what he did would we stand back and say oh god doesn't want us to have sex with women no we would say god doesn't condone gang rape also in ezekiel 16 49 it states that Sodom and her daughters were sinning. It doesn't bring up homosexual behavior. In fact, Jesus never said anything about it. 